episode, I'm playing against Eldar again. Dustin's back, yay! Uh, I just realized before we were doing this that we haven't actually played a 2,000 point game in quite a while, have we? It's been a long time. Uh, yeah. We did that 1,000 point match, which was really fun. I want to yeah. do a couple more of those. Um, yeah. But today we're going to do a 2,000 point match, and uh, we're not going to do match play. We're going to do open war. We're going to draw cards. Mm -hmm. It's going to be crazy. Um, it's going to be my first time doing it. Yeah, these are the new editions. ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, they made a whole new deck for 9th edition with the Open War cards, and it's awesome. There's a lot of really good stuff in there. Uh, less, like, stupid twists. The, mm -hmm. uh, there was one really, really dumb one that in 8th edition that was like, units always fail morale tests or something like that, and it was just no fun. All psychers die immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, um... I'm just, let's just jump right into it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do my list, if you don't mind. Go for it. Um, all right. Grey Knights. Ah! Uh, and uh, Battalion today. And um, I wanted to make something like really speedy was my goal. As speedy as Grey Knights can do while having like a five inch base movement. Mm -hmm. um, but because uh, Eldar <laughs> obviously stupid fast and move around a bunch. Um, so uh, HQ wise, I've got Samandis today. Um, I love him. He's great. Grandmaster, uh, he has uh, the First of the Prey Warlord trait, mm. excuse me, and uh, the Blade of the Forsworn, uh, which just gives him a strength 5, uh, AP 3, 3 damage, uh, Force Sword. Alright, good so, at chopping things. Yeah, good at chopping things. Um, if you were demons, he'd ignore your invulns, but mm -hmm. you don't. I thought there was like a little bit of a chance that you might bring an Avatar of Cain today. There was, a, I considered it. Yeah. I considered it. I got something a little scarier instead. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> um... Uh, but yeah, so first of the fray, uh, he knows armored resilience, so he's gonna be making himself or somebody around him harder to wound. Um, ideally he's gonna, ah, doom, I hate elves. Uh, ideally he's gonna just rush in and just start chopping stuff apart. Um, I am bringing, uh, my chaplain today, um, and he has, uh, no warlord traits or anything like that, but his, uh, can't, oh, canticles, litanies that he knows. He knows the... Recitation of Projection, which says, hey, Psy Weapons, get an additional AP. Oh. So that might be handy. Interesting. And he Do also... you have Psy Weapons? Potentially. Oh. So... Psy Bolt Ammunition? Psy Bolt Ammunition turns something ah. into... It turns Storm Bolters into Psy Weapons. Okay. Um, so he... Uh, so he can do that. He also has a Refrain of Convergence, and if he gets that one off successfully then he can uh, get plus three to a Deny the Witch check. Okay. Uh, so maybe I can stop Ooh. Doom from happening. Wow. Okay, I, I kind of see what you're doing here, I think. Yeah, I will have to make a decision between better AP or, uh, mm -hmm. like, the Denial thing, though. Because okay. he's not like the... I can't make him a Master of Sanctity from the Space Marines book where he can be like, Dude, I can do two of them and I can do them on two ups. Good. <laughs> um, he's just a regular old chaplain, but he does know two litanies, which is nice. Um, I'm also, uh, bringing, let's see, that's not my HQs, just two HQs. Troops-wise, wow. three Terminator units, as always. Um, one of them has a bunch of falchions and a hammer in it. Uh, that's mm -hmm. gonna be just the, uh, the hammer that I throw straight at you. Hopefully, that'll get into combat. Um, I figure the, uh, falchions might be a good choice just because you've got a lot of T3 bodies or T7 bodies. That's true. Uh, so the, uh, higher strength from, uh... The, the halberds wouldn't do anything. Wouldn't matter. Gotcha. Um, so I figured just more attacks is better. Um, and then let's see, elites wise, um, I'm bringing my apothecary. He knows inner fire. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna give him... You know what I'm gonna do today? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna spend a command point. Oh, I'm gonna give him the Curus of Sacrifice. So he has a five up feeling pain. Oh. So he always jumps down and blasts and dies. Yeah, that's so. a good synergy with his um, inner fire. But don't, wasn't there a different relic that makes it more powerful? That there, I could have given him the Sanctic Shard, which I usually do, which is yeah. giving him the plus one to cast and reroll, mm -hmm. which might be better. But I do want him to survive. It'd be cool if he lived for a turn. He won't. We'll find out. He did last time. For one turn. Yeah, we'll find <laughs> out. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, that's going to bite me in the ass. No, he'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll do it. I haven't run the Curious of Sacrifice in a while. Uh, otherwise, elites-wise, I'm running a unit of ten Purifiers. Uh, so, single wound, strike marines, but, uh, they've got, mm -hmm. let's see, we've got five warding staves, uh, the 
Knight of the Flame uh, has a sword. He got a name recently. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, his nameplate is on the way. One of my Patreon subscribers uh, mm -hmm. named him. Uh, I'm not going to give it away until I get the nameplate, but he has a name now, which is exciting. The little Knight of the Flame. Very cool. They look great. Have you fielded them yet? I fielded them once or twice. Um, I have a very distinct plan with them. Mm -hmm. um, they can get a two-up invuln in melee. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> with the stave. With the stave, with their oh. with their bespoke uh, stratagem they have, and then casting sanctuary on them. Wow. All of these added up to okay. Yeah, so they can potentially get a two up invuln on them. Okay. Uh, but only in melee. Only in melee. Otherwise, it's a three up. Otherwise, it's a three up. Okay. Uh, but we'll see. They also have four uh, psi cannons in there as well. All right. This is one big squad of purifiers. Ten guys. These guys. Oof. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what they do. I have some ideas for them. Um, who knows, though. Uh, and then fast attack. Uh, I've got one squad of ten uh, interceptors. They just all have swords. Um, I like swords. AP3 is rad. And has D3 damage. Um, they're going to be kicking ass and taking names. Or they will die immediately without having done anything. <laughs> because they're one wound with a three-up save. Yeah. Um, we'll find out. Um, and then, uh, heavy support. I am bringing a Land Raider Redeemer, not the Banisher today, because... The Banisher is the Grey Knights one? Yeah. Okay. And it's bad. Yeah. I just, I wanted the more AP and the double the shots mm -hmm. on the center gun. Okay. Felt important. Um, yeah, and then, uh, I'm bringing, uh, one flyer. I'm bringing my, uh, Stormhawk Interceptor, uh, with the, uh... Icarus Storm Cannon and the Storm Hammer Missiles. Guns. Guns. <laughs> All the anti air stuff on him. He's going to be, hopefully, uh, you brought a lot of stuff to fly, but some of these weapons have changed to where they do specific things against aircraft, which sucks. Uh, uh, but yeah. I think the Storm Hammer Missiles are still fly. I'll check before we start playing. Um, and then last but not least, I brought a, I brought a laser, uh, a las cannon razorback. Laser cannon razback. Nice. Laser cannon razback. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's yeah. it. Um, I'm just shy of 2,000 points. I almost brought two of the Stormhawk Interceptors, but they're pricey. They're like almost 200 points. Yeah. And it was either that or a squad of 10 Interceptors. Yeah. And I think having the, like, mobility of the Interceptors, um... It's, yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, it surprised me that it was T7. I was telling you, all of my aircraft are T6. So for yeah. T7 minus one to hit, it seems like they could be pretty tough. Yeah, and I still have the, uh, depending on what you shoot it with. So, mm -hmm. ugh, the, the, the Stormhawk Interceptor is three books out of date? Oh. So, this is not a Stormhawk, a Stormhawk Interceptor like you would see in the Space Marine uh, oh. Codex. It is a Grey Knight's Stormhawk Interceptor. So I still have the uh, Index rules oh. for Eighth Edition. <laughs> it's not Legends. It's an Index. It, 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 but so so it's 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 the rules from the Index were just transplanted to the Grey Knight's Codex, which came out in like 2017. Oh, I see. So it's it's Infernum Halo launchers still let it reroll ones to save, mm. which is fine. Um, okay. The weapons got updated on it recently. Like they updated the weapons. But they never updated the actual data sheet on it, so... It seems really tough, then. It's minus one to hit, T7, and it rerolled once for saves? Yeah, but if you, uh, oh. but if you get, I mean, rerolling once for saves isn't going to do anything if you got AP4 or something. Oh, because it has no invul. No, it has no invul. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. We'll yeah, I do have AP4 on the, every gun. Yeah, so it's going to be like, okay, you're saving on a 7, re-rolling 1s. Yeah, okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's my whole list. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully it's going to be a quick, punchy little force. Um, it's a little more fragile than I usually run, and I'm a little worried about that, but I think if I play my cards right and I... It's all about timing with Grey Knights. Mm -hmm. like if I, I... I am bringing warp shaping on my... Uh, my chaplain, oh, by the way. So yeah. if I'm switching through my tides in a proper way and I'm actually, I have been reading up making sure that I'm on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm switching through my tides properly and utilizing cover in a good way, I think we'll do all right. Yeah, it sounds like you are trying to do some new stuff today from what I've seen before. Yeah, I'm trying to. I yeah. want to get... Because uh, usually you just kind of let your tides sit. Yeah, which I still think is, for my forces, I think is the best, letting us sit in Tide of Shadows. Yeah. But I can do some stuff with Tide of 
Shoot? Convergence. Yes, shoot. <laughs> tide, tide of shoot. shoot. Uh, <laughs> I can do some stuff with Tide of Convergence today, which I'm going to try to capitalize on. Yeah. If I do. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll I can see. see that you're getting ready to buff up all of your Psy weapons big time. Yeah, it all it all depends on if I go first, what deployment's like, and how that works mm -hmm. out. So it may end up that I just, just I just start in Tide of Shadows and just stay in Tide of Shadows. Yeah. But if I find out I have like the opportunity to actually really capitalize on that, then I'll probably start out in tide of shoot and yeah. then blast things apart yeah okay we'll see yeah i know that you say that you're worried about being more fragile but actually seeing all the regular power armor guys in here it makes me it makes me a little more nervous because it's so easy to choose what to shoot and where to shoot like or yeah with my with That's all of my multi-damage weapons and we have these big squads of single wound models my tanks become a lot less efficient so. That's true. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Blast is going to take into effect on the bigger squad, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, should I go into my list? Yeah, please do. What do you got okay. today? So I told Stefan that I was going to bring either a Wraith Knight or a Cobra to God. Him. <laughs> And I think that's why he's bringing all... I, I, I know you've got that stratagem to bring it down... Yeah. Stratagem. Uh, bring down the beast. Bring it's down cool. the beast, Real yeah. wounds against something. Yeah, I can shot. see that that's kind of where everything is going, and I, I thought it was interesting he didn't bring many Laz Cannons, but... Yeah, so I chose to bring the Cobra. It's expensive. It's hard to bring Laz Cannons in it. Yeah. It's either on a Dreadnought or a Razorback, and it's just difficult. Anyway, yeah. brought a Cobra! I brought a Cobra. A big tank. Uh, I, I just wanted to bring a really fun list today. I knew we were doing open war. I just wanted to bring some stuff that I don't normally bring. So, kind of the centerpieces today are going to be my Cobra. And um, it's just equipped with its normal gigantic cannon. Oh, it's got new rules that I haven't used before. It's exciting. So some things were downgraded, like it's a three up ballistic skill now instead of a two up. But um, the gun, <laughs> the gun does flat six instead of two d six now. That's gross. How many shots? How many shots is it? Two d three. It used to be d six. So the gun's a little more reliable now, and we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited to use it. Yeah. Oof. And then the other centerpiece um, is I brought Karandris and two big old squads of striking scorpions. And I think they're going to be garbage against Kranos. Because <laughs> they still have old-fashioned chainswords that um, don't have any AP on. Oh, no, they have... I don't think they have... I think yours have a plus one strength, though, don't they? They have plus one strength and no, no AP. AP. Extra attack so, or no? Uh, no extra attack. Well, weird, those are garbage. Yeah, striking scorpions are not great, but... I did upgrade one squad with the Scorpion's Bite, so the, their Mandy Blasters will be hitting on fives and sixes. And the Exarchs are still really good, and... Um, so they like pinchy claw, right? Yep, and Karandris is going to make them even better. So, if I get lucky, Karandris can really make the Striking Scorpions pop off, and they might be able to kill some stuff. But if Karandris gets shot with a Laz Cannon, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have an Invuln or anything, so... He might just get turned into dust. It's we'll... so weird that your Phoenix Lords don't have invulns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I, I usually don't use him because of stuff like that, but I just wanted to bring some fun models today. So there's that. Um, my Warlord is going to be my Autark Akil Rain. Akil Rain! I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, in our own little personal lore, she and Samandis have something of like a frenemies rivalry thing yeah, happening. The, the, the very, very much, so Samandis and Apple Rain, I feel like they have that uh, that sort of like uh, anime hero and anti-hero <laughs> relationship where they're usually like at each other's throats, but then... Uh, uh, like Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, exactly. But then there's like a, but then like there's a bigger threat that comes up okay. and they've got to like team together. We did a fun, we had a, 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 a Cities of Death campaign years ago uh, where... Uh, we had me, you, Graham, and his all of his chaos nonsense, and then our friend Mike, who plays Tyranids, and we had a big fun game where Graham was allowed infinite demon summoning, and yeah. he uh, was uh, just flooding the board with demons, and me and Dustin were on the other side, and our goal was just to get Samandis and Aquarain off the edge of the uh, off the edge of the battlefield, and he it was it was really fun just was running from all the demons yeah. and they get slaughtered all their all their soldiers dying, but we ended up getting out of there. It was really cool. Yeah, that was awesome. I hope we can do more stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we're gonna start a crusade campaign soon, and we're gonna do a lot more fun narrative stuff. And I'm excited yeah. to tell more stories about our characters yeah. and have them like just it's gonna be great. Yeah, totally. So 
that's so she's she's there she's an autark uh, legends autark uh, she's got a power sword and a fusion pistol and I've just kept bashed them into this big lance type thing that she carries right. around um, she has an Avenger shirk and catapult and uh, the warlord trait I gave her is uh, it's something swiftness she Falcon swiftness she has plus two inches to her movement oh wow um, so nothing super amazing. I just, that's just what I've always run her with when she's on she foot. She has base nine on foot? Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, so she's really fast. She can run that's up like there as her. as fast as a land raider. Yeah, and she'll advance and shoot, you know, it'll, it'll be great. It's uh, almost twice as fast as a Terminator. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's a little terror sometimes. And her relic is going to be the Shimmer Plume of Akilreal, so she'll be minus one to hit in fighting and in shooting. That's red. Yeah. Uh, okay, for my troops, I've just got two squads of Dire Avengers. They're both exactly the same today. I'm giving the Exarchs the Exarch power that makes all of their shots minus three AP. So all of their shots? Just the Exarchs. Oh, thank God. But both the Exarchs have two guns, so they'll have... They'll have... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... I just wanted to try that out <laughs> against the Grey Knights. My shurikens usually do nothing against Grey Knights, but I think with AP3, they might be able to plink off some moves. I love the Dire Avengers Exarchs. I imagine they look like like the, like the commando of the Eldar, with the two yeah. assault rifles. Yeah. It's the dumbest thing. Yeah, I need to like kitbash some bandoliers on them. Yeah. Um, um, did you do all your HQs? With oh, your Farseer. Oh yeah, Farseer. I've got a Farseer uh, with Doom and Executioner. It's just a Farseer on foot. Nothing special. Um, and then my last troop is my unit of Storm Guardians. One of them has a fusion gun, two of them have power swords. And two of them are and guardsmen. And all of them, and two of them are Chaos Guards. Traitor Guardsmen, he yeah. forgot some of his models. I forgot to at home. Um, and all of them are 110% badass. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, we're gonna kick some booty with those little cobblers today. You, you transitioned from Guardians to Storm Guardians pretty hard. Yeah, I just don't like the Guardians. They're they're a little bit expensive, and they're always in these big, unwieldy blobs, and they're so short range. So I, they always just they're a waste of points. And I just like how my kit bashed Storm Guardians. They're really red. So. Two power swords, and you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're strength four now with those. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So they might do something. Who yeah. knows? Um, let's see. My fast attack. I've got two Hornets. Nothing special on them, but they're all natively minus one to hit now with the new rules. Um, my warp spiders, uh, have web of deceit, so they can redeploy once per game. Warp spiders, oh god, I was confused, scorpions and warp spiders. Yeah. Warp spiders teleport, okay, yeah. Yeah, and then for my heavy, I've got two fire prisms. Also, just basic fire prisms, no, nothing special on them. I have such a, like, pit of fear in my heart whenever yeah. I see fire prisms. Yeah, they're good at killing. They just... They rip things apart. Yeah. Especially when there's three. I yeah. chose to only bring two today. I didn't want to go overboard <laughs> with the fire prisms. But So if you kill one of the fire prisms, I'll lose access to linked fire, and um, they'll be a lot less deadly. So that's something I'm going to be keeping an eye out yeah. for. Yeah. I mean, they're still... They're still pretty good. They're still really good. Yeah. Um, and then my last heavy is my falcon. It's... Also, just a basic Falcon with a Star Cannon. I wasn't aware that the Falcon was a heavy support source. I thought it was a, yeah. I thought it was a dedicated transport for some reason. Mm -hmm. It can only hold six, so Wave Serpents are That's... only dedicated transport. So weird. Razorbacks are dedicated transport oh. rather than a so strange. Yeah. yeah, the Falcon's a weird model. I mean, it's got really great guns on it and stuff. But... Yeah, I guess it yeah. is just kind of a light tank, isn't it? Rather yeah. than like a... Huh. Yep. I think that's... Oh, I have some Howling Banshees that I forgot. Ah, oh, yeah, Howling Banshees. I always got to bring my Banshees. Um, they're all souped up. They've got Disarming Strikes and their normal Warcry. And the Exarch has an Executioner. So Ooh, they'll boy. be hard to, harder to kill in melee. And maybe they'll do a little damage. I'm hoping they go up against my Purifiers. I think that'd, that'd be, be really cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, that'd be two awesome. Two of Invulns versus the in Disarming. Because yeah. how many... How, how, what does Disarming Strike do? It takes two attacks away from one model. My guys have been, my guys have one attack. Oh wow! But they'll be up to two when they get charged, yeah, right? And yeah, and add a zero. 
and then down. It, but it'll only be one model that gets down to zero. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that could be worse, I suppose. It's better against, like, your characters or, yeah. like, a Dread Knight or something. You tied up that one, uh, that my chaplain for, like, an entire game before. Yeah. Because he has base three attacks, and then yeah. after the turn you charge him, he's just getting one attack every turn. It was terrible. Yeah. That's what I think Banshees are for, uh, just for tying stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Which, actually, now that you mention that, that means that uh, Disarm Strike's really good on them, because it kind of, like, their weakness is they get just stepped on whenever exactly. they get in there. Yeah, you That's tie up call. a knight, and you take away six of its attacks. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Fuck. All yeah, right. They're great for that. Um, all right, now your whole list. Oh, what the craft world are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm doing a custom craft world, Masters of Concealment. So we've got cover outside of 12 inches. Cool. And headstrong. headstrong. I thought about giving my cobra a different... Um, trait than headstrong because it's technically in a different attachment. Yeah, I thought if it was in a spring command attachment, you can't give it. Oh, can uh, you not? I thought you can't give them like faction bonuses. This is my first time ever running a, a super Lord heavy in yeah. ninth edition, so that makes sense. I'll look that up. Okay. Because that might be the. Case. I'm only gonna have six command points after wow. spending the three for the cobra, spending one on the striking scorpions, spending one on or maybe I'll have seven. Wow. Huh. Seven. Five, ten. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. Um, Red. Well, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's first, uh, oh, the cards. Yeah. We got to see what our mission is today. Um, all right. So, uh, we're going to draw one of these and we're going to allow the mulligan once. If it sucks, uh, we're going to get a different one. We just one. choose together. You draw one. Okay. And we'll choose if we hate it. All right. This is our objective. War of attrition. Each huh. player adds up the power rating or points values of all enemy units that have been destroyed during the battle. If players are not using power ratings or points values, add up the number of all enemy models. At the end of the fifth battle round, the player with the highest total is the winner. That sounds very boring to me. Just It's just whoever kills the whoever most. Whoever kills the most! Yeah, that would create a, an interesting game. Or we're trying to be like really cagey. Yeah. Well, maybe. This is going to be interesting. Sure. Let's do that one. All right, whoever just kills more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy, that's tricky. Yeah. Um, that's going to be, it's going to be so different than a match play game. How many points is this? 450? 480? Uh. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, <laughs> I accept. Um, and I think this is deployment, so. All right, what's a deployment? Ah, classic circle-y thingy. Circle-y rectangle thingy? Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. that's, that's, that's interesting. We're okay with that? Yeah, we're all right with that one. Here's the fun part. The twist. Now this one is either going to be really fun, it's going to be really boring, or it's going to suck. That's what? how it always goes. Really? They can be boring? Sometimes, yeah. Champion. Before the battle, each player selects one character model or one model with a wounds characteristic of nine or less to be their army's champion. Increase the model's strength and toughness by one and its attacks and wounds by two. I mean, I'm gonna choose Samantis. I don't know how I'm not gonna choose Samantis. I mean, we kind of wanted them yeah. to Yeah, all right, that's, solid. That's fun. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Are you choosing Yakko Rain? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I could choose Karandras, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting, too. So that means Samantis is rocking uh, strength five, toughness five, Seven attacks and eight wounds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, that works with War of Attrition. So they're just going in. Okay. So so Samantis is going in. The whole idea of just entirely eradicating her force. And he's here like he's the one specifically to go in and do this job. That's why he's the champion. Well, right. Two forces clash. Mighty warriors step forward to defend the honor of their army. A war of attrition amidst the horror and carnage of battle victory is sometimes a question of simple butchery. Wow, that's grim Hell and yeah. dark. Grim and dark. All right, sick. Um, well, we're gonna uh, do all our deployment and stuff, and we'll get right back to you guys. We got dice on the table. Cool. All right. Um, disclaimer: uh, We were having serious technical issues during this game, and I don't know why. Um, the camera and the app that I use to record. Something was going on, and it uh, decided to just stop filming at points. So um, it's going to be a bit choppy. Uh, we missed some key moments. Uh, we missed basically the entirety of Dustin's second turn, which sucks, because that was a big moment. Um, but I'm going to jump in every now and then during the game uh, to just kind of explain from memory what happened. Uh, so this one's going to be a little choppy and weird. I hope you guys don't mind too much.
All right, here we are deployed. Um, so this is a fun little map that I did today. I am uh, imagining that this is some sort of like mountain pass in a long, long abandoned world, um, which is still kind of lush and sort of recovering, I guess, after whatever mm -hmm. war happened here. Um, considering that our narrative is a war of attrition and we have champions on the battlefield, maybe this is some sort of like, not neutral ground, but some sort of like, unclaimed world in the middle of a larger war and mm -hmm. so now Samandis and Akalrain have shown up here uh, to settle some final grudges. Um, this right here we're going to just say is dense cover. Um, so it's not going to hinder movement, it's not going to provide light cover or anything, but this is, uh, anybody shooting through this is going to be minus one to hit. Well, do you think if we both have troops inside of it, will they also be minus one? Uh, no, they won't. Okay. You, with dense terrain, if uh, one of them is in the dense terrain, then they don't uh, get the penalty. Okay. So if you move some guys onto here and shoot out of it, they won't have minus one. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Um, these are ruins. They do ruin things. Um, and that's about it. Uh, yeah, we deployed. Dustin, remember it was this weird deployment. Mm -hmm. Dustin got this corner up here and has this terrifying array of tanks. That's so cool. Um, I don't have enough heavy weapons to deal yeah. with all that, I think. We're going to rely a lot on our uh, high AP, high damage melee. Um, and I've just tucked everybody safely away in this little corner here. Uh, Dustin, what are your thoughts uh, as far as your deployment? I feel like it's strange because I kind of feel like I want to be aggressive but you're all just you're tucked in that little corner and I, I can't shoot anything um, from here because of all the line of sight blocking so I don't know it's just gonna be weird normally in match play we're all kind of forced to collide and this is gonna be a war of attrition like the mission says like we're gonna be just trying to like lob shots at each other across this yeah. big map and hope that we can take more points away from the other person mm -hmm. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting i genuinely think i'm gonna have a bit of an uphill battle here um just oh, i have to do a lot of damage to tanks um what did you put in deep strike i have my striking scorpions and carandras are all hiding away somewhere on the battlefield <laughs> waiting to emerge and my Howling Banshees are tucked away in the Falcon. Okay, cool. And for me, uh, my Purifiers and Samandis are in the Land Raider here. And I have put my Stormhawk Interceptor, uh, Terminator Squad, and my Assassin Apothecary up in space. Uh -huh. All right, let's do this. Let's see who goes first. You got a die ready? Let's do it. I'm going to roll four if that's cool. Um, I mean, sure. You do whatever <laughs> makes you feel... A five. Oh, boy. Damn it! All right, so you actually, because this is um, uh, because this is not matched play, you get to choose. Do you want to go first or second? I kind of feel like if I go first, I'm going to waste my turn. Hmm, interesting. So this is a hard choice. I know that your deep strikers are going to be able to do a lot of damage, especially your apothecary. I don't like the idea of him coming down after my first turn and assassinating one of my characters. But I think I'm going to risk it. Okay. I think that makes sense, honestly, because you're right. I don't think you're going to get a lot to shoot. And if you let me come out to turn one, and then you'll have a lot more like options as far as shooting goes. The thing is, will you come out? I don't know. Maybe I'll just hide. Do you have a reason to come out? Killing, I guess. Maybe I'll just snail. Okay. All right, so you're going to not go first? I'm going to go second. Interesting. All right. Uh, going to do Grey Knight's movement, turn one, and come right back. Cool. My movement phase was pretty small. Uh, there's uh, moving my two squads of Terminators over here. Wrapped my uh, Razorback around this way. This guy actually can't move. He can't escape there. What is oh. he doing there? We're thinking. Um, I uh, get of infinity, right? I'm gonna get infinity, yeah. Uh, and then over here, uh, my interceptors uh, teleported this way with their once per turn little, or once per battle little shunt thing. Um, my chaplain attempted to scream the recitation of projection at them, but nobody listened to him. I got a two on my litany, and so nobody gave a shit. Um, so we're just gonna go straight into the psychic phase. If that's red. Um, Let's do it. All right, first thing we're gonna do... Where's your first here? There. Yep. All right, first thing we're gonna do uh, is cast 
Gabe and Finney over there. Um, and I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm gonna use my mental focus stratagem, the CP I just got, cast three dice and drop the lowest. Just to make sure this works. It does. Great. My Terminator's here, cast Game of Infinity on my Land Raider. What did Mental Focus do? Mental Focus lets me cast with three dice, three dice, three dice and drop the lowest. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, pick up my Land Raider and move it somewhere. Right now I'm trying to figure out, uh... so here's the thought process on this. Mm -hmm. Do I place it here and force you to just have to deal with this? Um, oh, yeah, do that, do that. Because then everything shoots it. Yeah. Do I place it here? And then, uh, oh, be careful there. This is why, yeah. I'm not Dustin's, doing <laughs> Dustin's, uh, Dustin's trying out the, the, the camera now, seeing if that works. It's got the gimbal. Um, so if I place my, if I place my Land Raider over here, uh, he's still in line for a lot of shooting. I don't think there's anywhere I can put him, though, where he's protected from shooting and where he will uh, be effective. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm actually gonna place him. Uh, I'm gonna place him here. Ah, so it's got the minus one. At yeah. Least. Yeah. Um, cool. Then I'm gonna move straight into these dudes here. Uh, my interceptors. I'm gonna cast Astral Aim, uh, which they got on a seven. Would you like to try to deny that? Yeah, let's do it. Do you want to see my dice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay. No Astral Aim. Suck. Um. And that's the entirety of my psychic phase, actually. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so all that means is that uh, some of those guys are going to have to shoot different targets. Um, I'm willing to move right to my uh, shooting phase if you want. All right, let's do it. Um, I'm going to start with my... Actually, Stefan put his Land Raider right here in front of my Cobra. My Farseer actually knew that this was going to happen. And <laughs> so the sights were actually lined up and ready right when the Land Raider dropped in. So we're going to be firing at the Land Raider using the Forewarn Stratagem. Boopy! All right, that's two CP you said? It's two CT. First I'm going to see if I get any back from that. I don't. Okay. And then it's going to be 2D3 shots. Okay. Um, is it like Auspex Scan where you have a minus one to shooting? Mm-mm. Cool. But I will have one. Oh, you will have a minus one yeah. because of that. Yep. Okay, so 2D3 shots. All right. Four shots. Four, solid. And... So it's going to be hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Oh no, because it's not part of my craft world? It's not part of your craft world. Oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> it's... Lords of War is so bad. Yeah, Lords of War are real bad. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's upsetting. Okay, well, let's see what happens on fours. Okay. Okay, two. Two hits. Do you want to reroll one of those or no? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you're this dropping... This is your biggest target. That's dropping so... you down to four CP. Yeah. Woo, oh, okay, so two... Back. I do. That was a three <laughs> command reroll. All right. All right. So two of them. Two of them. We're wounded on twos. Why? Strength sixteen. Oh, T eight. Okay, deal. And four ups are D three mortal wounds. Uh, disgusting. Nice. D three mortal wounds instead. In addition. Oh, okay. So first we'll do the damage. What's the AP? Five. Five. It's okay. A big gun. So how much? Uh, so, so how Six damage each. All right, so that's 12 damage to my Land Raider. Oh, no invuln. No invuln on a Land Raider. He's down to uh, four. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that they're bad. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, he just dies immediately. Um, <laughs> do you want to do take backs? No. Um, <laughs> all right, so we now have, uh, we have a couple things that could happen here. I could spend two CP to shoot with a gun on it if I with wanted. With a single gun. With a single gun. <laughs> or make one attack in melee. <laughs> or auto explode. Um, uh, poop. Well, let's see. Am I in explosion range? You are not in explosion oh, range. Right. Um, I don't think there's anything I can. Can I see these assholes? Um, if I can see them, I'm going to shoot the hell out of them. Yeah, they're hats. They're big okay. stupid hats. Are they're big up. stupid hats. Wonderful. Um, in Rage, I am going to spend 2 CP. 2 CP to shoot at some dire Avengers? Yeah, screw them. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, buddy. This is with your big gun. This is with the uh, assault cannon. Uh, so these are hitting on threes because it's considered to be on its top profile when uh, doing this. It's called Vengeance of the Machine Spirit. Uh, strength six. 
That is an angry machine spirit. Yep. So wounding on twos. Um, solid. Okay. Uh, well, at least those uh, Dire Avengers, at the very least, need to make nine AP1 saves. And I think you have cover because of your craft world, right? Oh, I do. Thank you for reminding me of that. All right, so just nine saves. Okay, AP1, so they're going to be their regular four up. Yep. Well, they're dead, at the very least. They are all dead. Okay, uh, you know, try to, try to land Raider for a squad of Dire Avengers. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I have to see if everybody dies inside. Uh, there are eleven models in there. Nice. I like that. I also like that. Um, okay. Uh, no ones, please. Uh, not a single one. Oh man. Okay. Um, interesting. All right. I'm gonna set them up real quick. Oh. So we're just talking about the the benefits of having his land raider blown up. He yeah. gets to deploy all 11 of his dudes. Yes. They get to use a psychic power. They'll still get to move and shoot, right? They won't get to move because they're emergency disembarking. Oh, okay. It's like one of those corn buses. It's exactly like that. That I've heard about. I need to see a few things. I think Samandis is just going to town here because he can be three inches away from this. So he's going to just... Oh, no. I think that's happening. Okay, so we had a nice little. I'm looking at this as kind of a kind of a win a little bit because it's making my uh, it's making my charge to this hideous thing a little nicer. Um, so I'm in my shooting. Oh no, I'm still in my psychic phase. There's a couple of things that need to happen here. Um, Samandis is going to cast uh, Smite first off. You already denied, right? I have another. You have another. All right, cool. Fill my dice, please. Oh. Oh, nice. Fine. Um, uh, he doesn't smite. Then he's going to cast Armored Resilience. Oh my god. <laughs> best best psychers in the universe. Am I going to reroll that? I am going to reroll that. I'm going to go down to. Let's see. I've spent one for. Uh, I spent one for Mental Focus. I spent two. For Vengeance of the Machine Spirit, and now I'm spending a fourth for a reroll. I don't think that passes. Uh, I want to check my spell real quick. What if you wanna, you get? I got a four. Oh, God, wow. I can't do good rolls. If you want to just pause it real quick, I want to check that okay. spell. Uh, Armored Resilience is a six. He failed by one. That's better than him perils and losing three wounds because I definitely would have rolled a three for that. All right, that's fine. He does nothing with his psychic phase this turn. Um, and then the other guys, we're going to cast Sanctuary. It happens. Uh, it's a seven. Do you want to try to deny it? Yeah. Might as well. Sanctuary. Oh, yeah, I want. don't want sanct no Sanctuary. I'm going to use Runes of the Farce here. I got a four. Okay. You were a bolt dice with that? Yeah. Grody. Can she oh. Yes. Okay. Sanctuary onto Samandis. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, that makes live. sense. All right. Then we're just going to go straight into my shooting. Um, I think sucks. I hate it. Uh, yeah, it did good. I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. All right, so I am going to start with Samandis. Uh, they didn't get Astral Aim. I'm going to spend a lot of command points this turn. Uh, they didn't get Astral Aim. So, is it T7? T8. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so Manus is going to shoot it with his Storm Bolter. Uh, he hits four times, and then wounds on sixes. Nothing. Uh, oh. He was not wounded, but I will spend one command point for Bring Down the Beast. Okay. Uh, so he... Uh, it's doomed, basically? Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. Um, Against infantry? Or anything. anything shooting it. Whew. So then I'm going to start shooting with these guys. We're going to do all our storm bolters. We're going to do everything into it. I'm going to start with the uh, Psy Cannons. I think I'm going to use lightning fast reactions. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, so I'm down to three. Okay, um, and I'm going to do, let's see, I've got the Psy Cannons. Am I just going to blow all of my command points this turn? Yes. Yeah, screw it. You know what? I never do this. We're gonna spend four command points. <laughs> oh, what, right now, right here. Yeah, right now, right here. We're gonna do it. Uh, and then I spent one, so I've done it two. 
the first one we're going to spend is on, um, uh, you spent, you were down to, oh yeah. I'm done six. So I'm going to do first, I'm going to do, so I'm doing two stratagems here. First, I'm going to do the other one that's not side bolt ammunition on my psi cannons here. Uh, it's like side bolt ammunition, but for weapons that are already psi weapons. Oh, okay. So it's one, double two, three. So basically it increases their strength by one and their uh, AP by one. Okay. Uh, because we are in the tide of convergence, their strength is increased by one and their damage is increased by one. So all of these psi cannons are strength nine, AP two. That sounds like cheating. Two damage. Wait, let's see. I'm going to do that. So they're, so, so they're seven minus one, one base. Uh, the uh, stratagem is up in their strength and, da uh, strength and AP by one. So going to oh. eight and minus two. And then the uh, tide is making is upping their strength and damage, going to nine minus two and two damage. Okay, that's right. That's a lot. All right, here we go. Holy uh, moly! All right, so we're hitting on because we're infantry. We're hitting on fours. We're rolling ones because of Grandmaster Semantis. Oh no! This is bad. This is great. Um, never use this against. Never anyone. use this against anyone. All right, these are strength nine, wounding on threes. Um, uh, Lightning Pass Reactions wouldn't have done anything with the Cybolt Ammunition, uh, but the uh -huh. Storm Bolters and the Storm Bolters up here, it's still going to do minus one if you want to still have done Lightning Pass Reactions. Oh. Because those are going to be Strength 6, AP 2. I see. And it'll still make them hit on 4s rather than 3s. And they'll damage. do 2 damage still? Uh, they'll... With they, your tide? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay. I'm still going to do it. Uh, so Strength 9, uh, winning on 3s, rerolling because of Bring Down the Beast. Wounding on threes? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so uh, first you're going to make, let's see, so this is seven at AP two. Seven at AP two, two damage each. Okay, these are five up saves. I do have spirit stones for the six up, feel no pain. Okay. So I fought one. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy! So that's two damage each, so you need six more dice? Yeah. Blah! Let's see. Got six, six. Yep, okay. Ten damage. Ten damage. Down okay. to sixteen. Okay, and then I just have a smattering of Stormbolter fire, which we're gonna put in there. That's six Stormbolters, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six storm bolters. These are hitting on fours. We're rolling ones because of Samandis. Um, these are going to be wounding on sixes. Good. That's how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> the side bolters. I didn't realize they were such high strength. They're strength seven, actually. Yeah. They're they're weaker auto cannons, basically. Yeah. Um. Uh. So this is wounding on sixes, but bring down the beast. Did you do lightning fast? I, guess it was I did, yes. Okay. Um, okay, that's just three more, no AP, nothing like that. All right. Then, and they're more than 12 inches away. So, oh no, not they're a craft world. Yeah. Uh, three up armor. Oh my yeah, two, God. so he's taking 12 damage so far. I need to uh, feel no pain. Oh, yeah. He only failed, he, he passed one. They're two damage each, right? They're one damage each. Oh. These are just storm bolters. I passed one? Oh, yeah. it was two up. No, it was... Three ups. Yeah. I thought I failed You got one and two. Okay. Um, okay, so he's down 12 wounds. How many does he have total? 26 total, so down to 14. <sighs> okay, I'm spending another command point. Uh, so I spent, so so that was the first two command points. Then I spent two, I'm spending two command points on Psybolt Ammunition over here to have their Storm Bolters become Psy weapons that are strength. Wait, that was still those guys? That was still those guys. Oh, no. So this is, now these are Storm Bolters are strength six AP... One, two damage each. Strength on six, AP one, two damage. Yeah, and I'm going to spend another command point uh, so that they can shoot, so they can rapid fire at full distance uh, with fight on the move because they're okay guys. All right. So are you down to zero? I'm down to one. Down to one, okay. Um, and if you want to pause while I collect all of my dice. Okay. Um, so it's 40, uh, it's 40 shots. I'm going to do two sets of 20. Okay. So these are hitting on fours because of lightning fast reactions. No rerolls. Oof. All those sixes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
These are going to be wounding on fives because of strength six, but bring down the beast says reroll those. Oof. Bringing down that beast. Uh, oh. Wow! Okay. Oh. So, that's gonna be, so far we've got nine. It at, hurts. So far we've got nine at AP one. And here's the other twenty. Oh, it's two hits. <laughs> yes. Wow! What a terrible roll. I um, mean, you could still kill yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've still got it. Um, so nine, wins. and then uh, get to reroll wounds. Okay, just the one wound, or just the nine wounds. Okay. So here, here's five and four. All right. Nine and AP ones. So you're saving on fours. That's right. Come on, Cobra. Oof. Two, four, six, eight, ten damage. And then I just need one more for the feel no pains. Okay. So. Made three. So he was at 14, so he's down to seven. Yep. Oh my god, I can't believe he survived that. All right. Uh, that was, honestly, I think the best possible firepower I could have mustered in my entire army. That was very impressive. For, like, all that you knock on your little power armor guys, they, they kicked ass there. Would like to point out, that cost me ten command points. Yeah. Um, yeah. no, I, I rerolled a couple things. All right. Uh, last bit of shooting. Who lands cannons? <laughs> nice. What are you going to shoot? Random back is going to last cannon. This is Banshee's in it. Yep. I'm going to try and get the Falcon. Uh... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to last cannon. I'm going to try to kill this thing. The Hornet? Yeah. Okay. It's right. minus one. I mean, it's minus one anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh, fours. Sure. Strength nine. Winning on threes. Yep. Ooh, have I command pointed in the... I don't want to spend my last command point on that. <laughs> One at AP three. Oh, they're only AP three. Las cannon. Bless Las cannons. Okay, I get a save six up. All right, do it. Two damage. Sure. Yes. Whatever. It's a bonus. Um, All right. That's it for my shooting. So I'm just gonna go straight to charge. This thing has seven. Seven wounds left. Yep. I mean, yeah, my, uh, my purifier is going to charge it. Okay. Do you want to watch? Mm, it's a squad of 10. Squad of 10. Does that mean I get full blast? No, that would have to be 11 for that. Oh, I just get, you get three minimum? Three. Yeah. Okay. I think I will overwatch because I have, I have the star cannon on there as well. Or... What's their charge going to be? Uh... Is it minus two for charging through that? No, it's not difficult ground. Okay. Um, it looks like their charge is gonna be uh, five or six, and they get to reroll it because of Samandis. Okay, I'd love to Overwatch against Samandis. That's why I'm charging with the Spear yeah. Fires first. I don't know that I want to spend one of my last three CP on that, so I'm not gonna Overwatch. Fair. They make it in, All right. um, and then I'm gonna charge with Samandis. And he's gonna reroll that. And he makes it in. Okay, um, so these guys, uh, everybody, everybody charge in. I'm gonna start with, uh, I've already piled in my uh, purifiers. I'm gonna start with the, the I'm gonna start with the, 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 the Knight of the Flame, who has a new name. Um, uh, he gets, uh, he's taking on threes, we're only ones. It's two twos. Uh, he's wounding on sixes. Nothing, all right. Um, let's see, I might have two, four, Six attacks with uh, the uh, warding staves, hitting on threes, rolling ones. All right, um, and the strength six, so winning on fives. Just one in AP one. Four up. Got a three. Okay, D three damage. Oh no. Yeah, D three damage. One. Six up. Okay, down to six. Okay, uh, here comes the big boy though. Um, I guess you get to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six attacks with uh, the feet from the, uh, <laughs> uh, man, I'm getting a lot of twos today. Uh, and then strength four, so six. Okay, cool. That was good use of time. All right. Nice. Samandis. Base uh, five attacks. Right? I don't, I don't know. Why would you know? Uh, I, I want him to be base. I'm sh certain he's base. My Autark's base four. I want him to be. 
Uh, I'm once... He is base 5. Okay, so he's base 5, so he charged, he gets an additional attack, and he is a champion, so he gets an additional 2 attacks. So it's 8 attacks? Yeah, buddy. Oh my god. Uh, so he's hitting on 2s, rolling 1s. Excellent. Um, he, he is base strength 4, his weapon is plus 1, and then he gets plus 1 tough their strength, so he's strength 6, so winning on 5s. Oh no, okay, uh, that's really bad. So... Uh, that lost one wound, so it's not a six. Yep. So if I, I, this is damage three, so if I, I'm going to spend my last command point and re-roll one of these. Okay. I'm going to get a five. Check this out. Let's Boom. See. Let's see Damn it! All right. Oh. One at AP three. Man, that was unfortunate wound rolls. Okay, five up in wall. Got it. Sucks. Alright, uh, yeah. that's unfortunate. I kind of wanted it to die. Yeah. Because that thing's explosion is out of control. It does like something insane. Yeah. Uh, that's an unfortunate end to that. I was I was so certain that Samandus was going to ruin that. Yeah, against T8, that's tough. That was, I mean, that thing, the thing is that was eight wound rolls that ended up getting one wound through. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's my turn. You're winning because of the destruction of the Land Raider. Nice. I thought I would turn that around. That's fine. All right, we're doing great. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll do a Eldar movement turn one. Come right back. All right. The entirety of Eldar movement and almost all of the shooting is just gone. It's just not here. I was just filming and my camera was not doing it. I don't know why. Anyway, um, we gloss over it here. Not a whole lot happens. You'll get it. Okay. I'm going to assume this is going to continue recording. <laughs> We've had some uh, technological hiccups, which is frustrating. Um, I thought this was recording the entirety of Dustin's uh, psychic and shooting phase. Um, and alas, it wasn't. Oh, man. Um, okay. Well, uh, fortunately, the uh, psychic phase was very short and sweet. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, I was able to deny, uh, Doom, and, uh, the one that makes the psychic powers better. Focus will. Focus will. Um, and then do you just want to go over real quickly what happened in your shooting? Yeah, so I directed a lot of shooting towards the purifiers from all the hornets and the storm guardians, and, uh, my fire seer took one out with a pistol. Mm -hmm. And then I got enough down to where I could shoot at Samandus, so Ackle Rain fired a fusion pistol at Samandus, glanced off of his armor, and... Then the warp spiders fired at all the interceptors over there. Yeah. And we were not able to get a single thing past the armor. I even got some double six saves on here, which was really cool. That's um, right. Yeah, yeah, I got a double six save. Four shots. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which was a uh, uh, nice contrast to the constant ones and twos I was rolling for the purifiers over here. <laughs> yeah. Man, we missed a lot of good chatter there, too, because I was lamenting the fact that uh, there's a cool purifier specific stratagem called Untainted and Unbowed, where they get a 4-up invuln, and they automatically pass uh, morale, uh, which is rad. Wouldn't, so have helped me, wouldn't have helped me a lot there with my 1s and 2s, but I was regretting having spent the, my last command point last turn when I should have used that to protect them this turn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he fired everything into them almost. Um, and I think the only thing left you have to shoot are the fire prisms, yes? That's right. All right. Sorry, everyone. I, uh, it's, a weird, it's a weird interaction with... Ah, the way the uh, camera app works and storing video. But that's fine. All right, do you want to just go straight to the fire prisms? Let's do it. All right. So uh, I don't know that this fire prism... We realized that they couldn't link fire. Oh, because yeah. Because it seems like they can see each other, but because that's obscuring. obscuring yeah. I can't use linked fire, so... I'm Thank just you for gonna, mentioning that. I forgot. Yeah, I'm just going to direct this fire prism at the interceptors. Okay. It's the only thing it can see because this big fat... Cobra's in the way. <laughs> and um, so oh, it's going to... Oh, man, I, we also missed the end of your movement phase as well, so I forgot to mention this could only fall back six inches, uh, which yeah. prevented a lot of his, like, maneuverability around here. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. All right, cool. Going to do with the right. fire prism? Yes. The fire prism here will fire at the interceptors. It's going to shoot twice, and I'm going to use the D6 shots. So it is going to get a minimum three against them since it's blast. Yep, each time. Each so. time. Do you just want to do 2d6? Yeah. Each one's minimum three. 
Hey, look at that. So six shots. <laughs> Thanks, Blast. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. I wish I had used the other profile. Yep. Do three shots. <laughs> you always regret also that. also would have been minimum three. Yep. Oh. You always regret it. <laughs> okay. These are strength six. So, so they're... Have threes. Oh, first I have to hit you. The first you got to hit me. So threes. Oh, boy. Wow. What? Oh, boy. Let's let's just roll a two to wound. <laughs> All right, AP. I think it's AP three. And I failed. Okay, one, one damage. One guy is splattered. Oh boy. Okay. And the other fire prism. I don't think it can see them. All it can see is Samandis of the purifier, so it's gonna shoot Samandis. Okay. And it's, we're gonna do the D three shots this time. Sounds good. That's a little better. Five shots. He is tough as five. This is strength nine. All right, so winning on threes. All right. Okay, so three wounds. Yes, yes. Grand. AP, like zero? Four. So he's got a four up right now? He has a four up in bone. No. Yes, what a hero! Oh. Okay, great, okay. excellent. Oh, I don't really want to attack him now. Oh my god, what a beast. I kind of want to fall. <laughs> I wish I could move that terrain. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, this is bad. This is a good time. This is, wow, weird. Um, man, I wish you guys had been able to see our uh, our shooting phase here. It was very interesting. Um, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. just just charged for you now, right? That's right. Where are you charging? The Storm Guardians will charge. Okay. Into Samandis. Sounds good. Uh, just Samandis. I think that's the easier charge. I'm a little worried they wouldn't make it into those guys. Okay. They're plus one to their charges. Because they're headstrong, they'll yep. take you on. All yeah, right. They'll take you on. Uh, so 11, yeah. Um, yep. Do you want to finish your charges and then... Yeah, let's charge Jackal Rain into... Samantha's and the Purifier? Well, I guess it depends on how you... Here, do you want to move them first and then we'll come back to it? Hello. Camera wasn't working again. Uh, Ackle Rain and the Hornet charged in. Nothing exciting there. They just both made their charges. There. Um, excellent. Where do you want to start as far as uh, fighting? I cannot interrupt. I have zero CP. Yeah, let's. I'll save the best for last. So I'll start with the Hornet. Cool. I think it has two attacks. We were taking some pictures because it's, these are our favorite characters and they're all <laughs> engaged. And it's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hornet on sixes to the Purifiers. Nope. And then. Oh, Storm Guardians. Storm Guardians. Let's do it, Storm Guardians. Let's see. <laughs> They have one attack each. Wow. Oh, and they don't have shock assault like Space Marines. That's correct. So they just stick with that one attack. Uh, they, m most of them have chain swords, but the two with power swords all will only have one attack. Cool. So the two power swords on threes, we roll in ones. One hit. Strength, strength four to five, four. so five. Oh, nice. AP three. They did oh, not get him. Storm Guardians. Storm Guardians, you have failed. Uh, one of them is just slapping, actually. It doesn't have a sword. So, on three. <laughs> three roll one. Yes. And six? No, five? Five, Still yeah. No. Uh, okay, we've got one, two, three, four, chain sword. Cool. Friends. Oh, they, I should roll eight. Oh, because they get two. Get two yeah. from the chain sword. And we got three roll one. Oh, that's a three. That. And right. we're wounding on five. On five, he is. All right. Nice, three wounds. Uh, no IP? No IP. Okay. Twos! Wow. Ah, Storm Guardian. All right, so he goes on from uh, eight to seven wounds. Okay. Uh, all right, this is going to be bad. Uh, Ackle Rain. And here is where Ackle Rain and Samandis fight, which my camera just didn't record. That's it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so Aquarine strikes Mandis, uh, he takes no damage, and then he strikes back at her and drops her down to one wound. It was very cool, and I wish you could have seen it. Aquarine is alive at one wound because she is a champion. You're not going to reroll it? I don't think there's a reason to reroll it. Well, these guys are going to get to attack her. Yeah, but you'll, the Samandis will kill her next turn anyway. Yeah. Right? With a smite, he will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Aquarine. You're down to one wound. She is at one wound. 
All right, my uh, purifiers are going to strike her. Okay. Here's the uh, the Knight of the Flame, hitting on uh, fours, actually, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, he only hit once. Strength four, so winning on four. Got her, AP three. Corpin Ball. She's gone. Oh, man. <laughs> Mighty Swipe! Aut Mighty Autark slain. <laughs> Did nothing. All right. Um. Damn. Was that your turn? That was my turn. That was very underwhelming. Woo! Weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. You roll for your purifiers. Oh, that's right. Okay. So on a one, my purifiers stick around. All right. So this guy flees, and a one or a two, he flees. All right, he sticks around. Woo! All right, weird. What a weird. Okay, war of attrition. Um, all right, we're gonna go into Grey Knight's turn two then. Be right back. All right. So, after my movement phase, um, it was it was it was all right. There was a little bit going on. Um, I held my squad of terminators and my apothecary uh, in deep strike, but I did. Uh, throw down my Stormhawk Interceptor right here. Um, he's interesting because he's got a couple of different... Uh, he's got his own data sheet from the Grey Knights Codex, and then he's got uh, his weapons from the Space Marines Codex, so I'm going to be referencing two things for him. Um, also, my chaplain, uh, he uh, got off his Refrain of Convergence, so he's going to have a plus three to deny. And then I'm going into my Psychic Phase, where I'm going to now teleport him across the entire battlefield. One of these Terminator squads is casting Gate of Infinity on him. Excellent. Um, I am throwing him... Uh, well, let me think. He's going right there. Um, excellent. He is then going to cast Warp Shaping. Should have cast this definitely before I teleported over here. Uh, he casts Warp Shaping on a 10. Would you like to deny it? Yes. Okay. Uh, you've got Sanctuary coming out. I have Sanctuary, and I have, uh... Smite. Armored oh, Resilience, that's what it's called, yeah. I'm actually gonna hold up. Okay, so I am going to switch into the Band of Shadows. You got it on a 10, right? You got it on a 10. Yeah. I'm gonna, no, mm, I'm gonna switch into the Tide of, uh... Tide of Fury, actually. That makes you better in melee? That makes my uh, Nemesis weapons can reroll ones in melee. On okay. infantry. It's very specific. To, hit, to wound? To wound, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's very specific. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, then I am going to go right here. These guys are going to cast... Smite. Yes, that makes sense. We're going to cast Smite. So it'll go against the warp spiders? Blurp. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they have two wounds on their stupid odd hearts, don't they? On the exact, yeah. All right, we're gonna cast. Uh, we're gonna cast um, astral aim on them. Actually, they got it with a nine. Would you like to try to deny? Nope. All right, they put astral aim on themselves. Um, Samandis is going to cast smite against the little boys. He got it with an eight. Would you like to deny? No. Nope. Okay, one mortal wound. Probably kill one of the guardsmen. Yeah. Uh, then he's gonna cast armored resilience. He gets it on an eight. Oh! oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot you were filming. <laughs> no. Oh, you got a nine. Slides. You deny armored resilience. <laughs> um, this dude is going to cast Smite right there. Uh, he gets it on an 11, which would be a Super Smite if he were a normal guy. <gasps> but he is a purifier, and so he always has a Super Smite. So it's a D6 oh. Mortal Wounds. Oh, wow. He always has Super Smite. Yeah, but it's only three inches range. Dang. D6 mortal wounds! Three mortal wounds against that thing! These guys are so little badasses. down to three. Um, I think... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Is that okay. One? Um, I already got oh, it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna cast uh, one command point. I'm gonna cast Sanctuary. Because okay. he gets so he gets to cast again. Uh, I got it with a 12. <laughs> nice. Oof. Yeah, I can't deny it. Okay, he puts Sanctuary on Samandus. Um, and then... I'm gonna feel pretty chill about my life. You're in a good spot. I think so. I like being stuck in like this. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to my shooting phase. Okay, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna start shooting. I'm gonna start shooting with 
Shoot me up. Yeah, so it's zero command points again. So Samandis and the Purifier stayed in combat. They did stay in combat. Okay. Yeah, we were going to kill those. So I am going to shoot with my uh, Stormhawk Interceptor, okay. using my data sheet from Codex Grey Knights and using the weapons from Codex Space Marines. So Our has, powers combined. Our powers combined. <laughs> so his weapons from Codex Space Marines no longer get a plus one to hit against uh, uh, flying mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he still is technically this data sheet, so he still has interceptor rule. You add one to hit rolls for this model when targeting an enemy in the shooting phase that can fly. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, he is going to shoot... <sighs> do I kill the big old tank? Don't do it. I really don't want that thing to shoot Samandis. It's harmless. Harmless, you say. Um, I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot it dead. Do you want to do lightning fast on it? No. Okay, so I'm going to shoot it dead, and I'm going to shoot it dead, and I'm going to then shoot... Uh, I'm gonna shoot the assault cannons. However, it only has six wounds left. I'm gonna shoot the assault. I'm gonna shoot everything into it. Okay. okay. So the first thing I'm doing is it's Icarus Storm Cannon. Okay. Uh, hitting on twos because of the interceptor rule. What? God, I'm hitting on twos. Normally it's on three. He gets plus one to hit because uh, it's shooting a flying thing. Oh, so what would the other weapons have done? The other weapons normally add an additional plus one to hit. Oh, so it wouldn't, have, uh, it wouldn't would have, have changed anything here. Lightning fast. Exactly, yeah. I see. Uh, strength seven, so winning on fives. One at AP one. Four up. Got it. But, all right. Here comes the Sky Hammer missile launchers. Almost the same. Twos. Uh, winning on fives. Uh, two at AP one. Fours. A hit you once. It's D three damage. Okay. Pow. Three Ooh. damage. Okay. Six ups. Ooh, he's hit one. So he's done a four. And a four. Okay. Twin assault cannons. This is where Big Daka comes in. Big Daka. Big Daka. So he gets twelve. Hey, pull that six. Um, he gets uh, twelve. I'm not reaching into my butt every time <laughs> I go back there. By the way, I am. That's where I keep my desk. Um, hitting on twos. I don't know that anyone assumed that. I just realized but what thanks, it looks like. Thanks for reassuring I just realized us. that's what it looks like. It looks like I'm scratching my butt every time I reach back there. Uh, wounding on fives. One, two. Two out of <laughs> two of them. Maybe one each. Fours? Oof. Okay, so. Down to one? Down to one, assuming. Uh, you see, you still oh, get to save. Right. Yeah, you still get your six up saves. Okay, nope. down to one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I just fire a withering cascade of. Yes. Out of one. Ah. Oh. Do it. It's hitting on fives now, right? Six. Oh, uh, no, fives. You're right. Okay. Uh, I just need to get one bullet through. Do it. That feels like such a waste of 36 Stormbolter shots from these guys. Do it. I don't need this anymore. Um. Oh, where else are they going to shoot? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to put that many shots in. Let me collect my dice. Remember the Land Raider. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the Land Raider. Okay. okay. Uh, so it's nine guys with astral aim going into that there. Okay. Doesn't get cover if that matters at all. All right. So we're hitting on threes. No re-rolls. Uh, this is the first five guys. We've got four more guys shooting after this. No re-rolls. Just need to get one through. Yeah. Just need to get one through. Okay. Sixes. That's four. Nice. All right. Um, and then I've got uh, four more guys shooting. So I've got four so far. Oh, boy. That was some bad shooting, guys. I feel like the second half of these guys shooting always goes <laughs> sour. Is there uh, wounds? Uh, these are wounds. So that's six total. You have to fail one of them. All right. No AP? No AP! Okay, three ups. Failed two! Can I make two six ups? Nope. Alright! So it appears that he may have strategically moved his guys away from it, expecting it to explode. So it's a, so it's on a four up, it explodes. That's true. And then... It, a rift opens up. A D-rift is a, would open up. 2d6 inches range and d6 mortal wounds. Is a D-rift like a result of Slanesh? Uh, probably. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. That was before my time when all that lore was coming out. Alright. Um, so, a four up. Four up. 
Oh, oh, thank you. I kind of. Oh, I can't re-roll it. Can't re-roll that. Can't re-roll it. Okay. Woo! Wow, that was a. Uh, that would have been disastrous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, giant hunk of resin. That would have been cool. That would have been so cool. Okay. Um. Solid. Uh, I'm gonna continue shooting. All right, shooting at the falcon with my razor back because he's in the ruin, so he can shoot through it. All right, if he can see, and he can. Yeah, shoot that falcon. Um, actually, can he? This thing's pretty much. Oh, he's yeah, but he's risen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's tall. He can see it. All right, here we go. Hitting on threes, fours, fours. Okay, great. Oh. One hit. Moving on three. Yeah. Nice. No CP, so that happened. Um, that was my shooting phase. Nice. It's all right. I killed a big old tank. It took me two turns to do it. Two turns of my entire army. It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Um, okay, we're going to do two charges now. Uh, these dudes. Charging yep. these guys. Dark Avengers? Yeah. Okay, make it happen. Are these guys coherent? They don't look coherent. One was on top of here and then fell down. Oh, okay. We'll like on top yeah, of that. Yeah, okay. Um, we're going to charge them. We did it! Um, and I think that's my only charge because they're already in combat. Yep. Okay, great. I'm gonna move my guys in. Cool. Glad you didn't charge my warp spiders. I don't like them. I'm not actually honestly very afraid of warp spiders. They, they do stuff. They're strength six. <sighs> These turn into AP four. Yeah, what is sure, whatever. You're afraid of dire Avengers? No, I guess no, they no. do have the AP three on them. I am unafraid. But you will consolidate into the fire prism. That's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm unafraid of dire Avengers. They just seem to be the most advantageous thing to attack. Gotcha. Okay. Um, no. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to town. Uh, we're just basic bodies, so we don't have a whole ton of uh, uh, space to attack. Um, I'm gonna. Try to charge him real quick, actually, just in case. You never know. Nah. All right. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to start with the... Uh, uh, I'm just going to pile in. Bleep. Oh. I almost destroyed that thing utterly. Mm, I kind of wish that my Dire Avenger had been... But it's fine. It's fine. Okay. You um, would have tagged at the Fire Prism at the end anyway. Yeah. All right, we're going to just start chopping. Okay, there's a bunch of swords coming to some dire avengers. Threes. Wow, boys. It's a lot of guys. Alright, um, and these are strength four against their T3. That's right. Okay, uh, that is six, eight, nine, and AP3. Okay, nine of them die. Great! There are only five of them. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, we have uh, consolidated, consolidated, and we're now tagging this tank. Um, so yeah, uh, you may Let's see how many attacks does the fire prism get. Are you fighting with? That's where you're choosing the fire prism first, not the uh, not oh, the storm guardians. yeah storm guardians, buddy. Yeah, yeah, forgot about them. Not that they're forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's do. Two power sword attacks on threes. Nice. Nice. And then we've got a slap from a fusion gun. Nice. And then we've got eight power uh, chain sword attacks. Right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Sure. And they're all winning on fours to fives because his T5 is the champion. Well, they're strength threes. <laughs> they would have been on fives. So three, it looks like. Three of them. Nope, he's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to have my uh, little guy right here. Go for it. My Knight of the Flame. All right. Man, I wish he had his nameplate today because he's been doing great. Yeah. All right, here's his two attacks against uh, that thing. Nice. I re-roll ones. I'm going to hit. <laughs> Wounding on a five. Nothing. Okay, great. Hornet strikes back. Nope. All right, now Samandis is going to go to town on those little guys. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, will he? He might blow up that hornet. That might be the way to do it. Is he? In, I don't think he's in combat with it. He never consolidated into it or anything. Good point. And they're touching his base, so he cannot. 
All right, you're gonna go to town on the little guys. Strength five. Strength six, because he's a champion and it's plus one. All right. Yep. We're on twos. Oh, it looks like... You, we need to roll one more die as well. No, because okay. he didn't get charged. Oh, you're right. Okay. All right. So, uh, five of them die. Oh. Let's take you two, and you, and you, and one of the power swords. Awkward. Okay. Would you say he's still closer to the Storm Guardians? Yeah, so he can't consolidate to the... All right, fine. Okay, um, that's all the fighting, I believe. Okie dokie. Okay, um, yeah, do you want to make a, a morale check? Yeah, uh, so they're down half strength, so it's ones or twos? Uh, you, well, first they have to oh, no, roll make leadership. the... Yeah, first make the leadership, leadership check. seven. They lost six. So, so, one, so one please, and then a one or a two, the last one please. What is it? It's a two. Okay. Oops. Solid. Oops, Amanda's just out in the open though. I was hoping it was that fusion gun against him. Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, that was my whole turn. Um again everyone, sorry for how choppy this video is gonna be. I was experiencing technical issues earlier. Um but uh I'll be able to patch it together and it'll still make sense. Yeah. Alright, so that was the end of my turn two. I think that was pretty successful. Yeah, you're kind of steamrolling me now. I mean I killed your big old tank. You yep. still got a bunch here. And remember, your fire person can shoot into combat. That's true. Uh, except without some... blast weapons. It can't shoot a... Does it have a non-blast profile on there? It does. Okay, so it's it can shoot that still. Great. But I also have famed retreat. Oh, that's and right. I also have a bunch of very sneaky boys. Oh, that's I'm right. Karandris is still around. Yep. Um, okay, cool. Uh, we're going to let Dustin do his movement phase and come right back. All right. Should I say what I did in my movement? Please say what you did in your movement. Okay. I would love that. So Banshee's popping out. Their goal is going to be to try and distract this guy. Big man! Just keep him tied up for a little bit, if they can make that charge. Oh, I didn't move them. No, you didn't. You just, yeah, yeah, just, popped, you just popped him out of the uh, let's, Falcon. Let's, um, char let's advance them. Can they advance and charge? They sure can. God, Eldar. Yeah, okay. Whew! I suppose I haven't done anything since movement, so this, No, it's all good. This isn't even a takesy backsies. No, it isn't. Oh man. This lone purifier. Alright. And yeah, so I moved the banshees out, they're gonna distract Samandus. Everything's gonna blow these guys up. If I have the shooting to spare, I may link fire against that Stormhawk. So I think I can pull this back together and also Coming in to save the day, Carandris and his buddies. Carandris and his buddies. They're there all along. They've been there the whole time. The uh, my chaplain just missed them. Uh, you also, uh, in order to get out of the uh, range of Refrain of Convergence, sprinted that way with your uh, Farseer. You That's advanced right. to five to get that way. You had to spend a, a command point to re-roll that and get that. Yeah, and that's just to avoid the plus three to denies, but you will still get to deny with both. Yeah, absolutely. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to start with Psychic. I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. I'm just going to go straight for my Psychic powers. Okay. I think... Oh, I'm tempted, actually, to... Executioner does have to go against the closest enemy within 18. And I think it's that Purifier. Yeah, the Knight of the Flame. So... I could do like a smite and then an executioner. You could. But Ooh. I would like to get doom off against Samandis. Best of luck. So let's do focus will again. Okay. I am going to make the same mistake as last time. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to runes focus will? Can I command reroll that? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, no, I'm not. I have a limited number of command points. I'm, I'm just gonna go straight for Doom. Okay. And I will use my runes on that too. There we go. That's what we're doing. I don't have any command points to make this better. I got a 10! Oh man, you got a 10! Samandis is doomed! Alright. Rough, alright. Okay, psychic stun. Start shooting. I'm gonna start with the Howling Banshees. Okay. Their pistols will go into that purifier. <gasps> um, I did not go into Tide of Shadows. I you went didn't. into Tide of Fury. Yeah, I All don't right. know why. Did yeah. you just take pity on me? No, 
I thought I was going to, I got excited about melee is what yeah. it was. I, and I was like, I'm going to reroll my ones, but then my like blades. Yeah, my blades obliterated everything anyways. Um, yeah. I felt like you were doing that because you felt bad for killing my coat. No, I, I thought I'd be so stuck in that I wouldn't need Tide of Shadows. Uh, that makes sense. It does it. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, great. Okay, five pistols on threes. And then, oh, sorry, Samantha. <laughs> and then on fours. We got one at AP3. Woo, baby. All right, let's see if this armor saves the normal one. It does. AP3, give me that sweet six. Nope. Oh, that guy only has one wound? Yeah, buddy. You are literally <laughs> the only faction in the game whose sergeants have more than one wound. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, uh, by the way, did you feign retreat on that thing? I did, yes. I spent two CP so that I could still shoot with it. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. The... Hmm. Let's go with the warp spiders. They're going to do their 12 shots into your interceptors and redeem themselves. Okay. For their terrible shooting last time. Definitely should have gone into Time of Shadows, but... Yeah, I one, don't have cover anymore. I don't have cover anymore. All right. We need threes. Oh, no auto to reroll. Yeah. That's right. And we need threes again. Strength yep. six, six, yeah. yeah. Okay, we got two at AP4. Oof. So those are just kills, right? Uh, AP4, yeah, those are just kills. Then I got four. Four with no AP. All right, I only have three dice on me, so uh, pass. Okay, so three die. Nice. Aw, oh, man. This is why you always stick in tight of shadows, kids. It's true. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Okay. Uh, Samantha's five wounds. The falcon is going to shoot its twin shuriken catapult into them, and its other two guns into Samantha's. Okay. Deal. Okay. So the twin shuriken on threes. Ouch. And then on four. Got it. We're good. All right, the Falcon Pulse Laser on threes. Oh, thank God. Wish I had not dark. Lol. Um, this is going to wound on threes since you're T5. Yeah. Oof. Okay. I'm going to CP that. Yeah, command point that. Oh, yeah. You don't have to because he's doomed. Oh, he's doomed. Oh, but it still fails. Still failed, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a sad noise. <laughs> okay, a uh, star right cannon. These things have a lot of guns. Yeah. Not Space Marine level, but... No, no, not like, not like Primaris level <laughs> guns. <laughs> All right, and then we're wounding on threes re-rolling again. Got it. AP? AP three. All right, four up in volume. Oh, buddy. How much damage? D3. Okay. Nice. He's done the three. All right, all right. Yeah, this is good. Can the Banshees kill him? Oh, God, I hope not. Maybe what I should do is... Shoot with the striking scorpions into the chaplain so that I can hold off on the difficult decisions. Okay. So it'll be there's six scorpions per squad, and the exar gets two shots, so it's seven shots against your chap. Yes. All right, on threes. Nice. And on strength four to four. So uh, one and APC. And then one at regular? Yep. All right, so the regular is on a two up, and then a four up. Damn. Yes. All right, so just one damage? Yep. Lovely. And the other squad's going to do the same thing. All right, scorpions. Got their phoenix lord here. They're all pumped. And two at no AP and one at AP. Two at no AP. We're good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Four up in vault. Damn it! Nice. Uh, Alright, he's on a three. And then Carandras himself. Hitting on twos. And we got four. Nice! Alright. Yeah, I got sixes for all the two up saves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hornets are gonna shoot. I'm gonna do one at a time. Obviously, okay. but one of the hornets is going to go under there. Okay. So it'll be four shots hitting on threes. It's so nice that I'm not hitting on fours with everything. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, wounding on threes. All right. Two of them at AP2. 
Uh, one's dead. All right. Mm, you. Let's just. You know what? You meant to think? I think that this other hornet. No, the fire prisms will kill him. The other hornet will shoot at the interceptors. Nice. And one down threes. Okay, three at AP2. Alright, gotta go to dice. Three at AP2. Ugh. Hornet tank. Gross. That eight of them this turn? Uh, six. Six? Oh, okay, those. Oh, uh, okay, no, good. sorry, seven, because they lost one before. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seven this turn? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay. you're right, yeah. Alright. So one will run away, and then maybe two. Okay, great. Now let's do the fire prisms. I think that's my last shooting. I think so too. They're gonna link fire. They're gonna fire into Samandis. Uh, so I'll spend a CP on that. They'll both shoot twice, and they'll be re-rolling all hits and all wounds. <laughs> and maybe we can kill a single <laughs> brain. Maybe we can kill a single brain. Okay, what uh, profile are you using? I'm actually tempted to do it against the Stormhawk, though. Because that would be the smart thing for our objective, right? Yeah. He's less points. He is less points. And it's minus one. And you're pretty confident the Banshees can kill him. Oh, I don't think the Banshees will kill him. But they'll tie him up. That's true. Stormhawk's going to make mess of your line after this. You just don't want me to kill Samantha. I really don't want you to kill Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> He's got all those psychic powers and he chops things up. I'm gonna kill some Okay. Yeah. Okay. So which profile? So it's the D3s. So it's two D3 shots on each tank. And so this is just one tank. Oh, and then one of them is gonna be shooting its twin shuriken into these guys. Okay. Um, do you want to just do all of their shots at the same time? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's two D3 per tank. Yep. Oh god. All right. Exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> it's eleven. 11. That was a great roll. That was fantastic. Okay. On threes, re-rolling. Fire prisms are cool. Fire prisms are so good. Okay, and this, this is strength nine. So we're winning on threes because this toughness oh, five. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. He's, uh, he's doomed, though. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah. And, and linked fire. He's double doomed. Double doomed! How many is that? That's eight at AP four. Would you hand me those five dice right there? Oh yeah. You ever seen a man roll eight four up in volts? <laughs> Cause that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. poop. All right. Payback. Uh, Tide of Shadows definitely would have been the way to go. It would have been really Damn. good there. Yeah. All right. Um, nice! That's all you're shooting. Oh, except there's a couple more into them, right? Like the That's shuriken right. cannons, the right? shuriken, yeah. These are not re-rolling or anything. Fours? Nope. Cool. Alright. The all right. cheese will charge. What? These guys. Oh! They can declare up to a 15-inch charge. Good luck. And they do a 3d6 or is it 2d6 plus 3? Uh, it's 2d6 plus 3, yeah. <laughs> no. I don't believe they make it. Uh, the scorpions. First, Carandris will charge your chap. Okay, he needs a nine. He needs a nine. He gets it. Dicks. <laughs> Dicks. Got a phoenix floor coming at you. <laughs> Gonna go snippy snip. His base is so small. <laughs> He's tiny. What a tiny old. boy. His giant hat. Okay. Giant hat. Okay. In which squad? Uh, red squad, which is the ones with scorpion sting. They get plus one. They fail. They failed. Yellow? Uh, yellow squad. They made it. They made it. Just made Oh, it. God. All right, we'll move so in. So it's going to be right the conga line. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and he's charging the uh, interceptors with the Hornet. Four inches? You know, I'm thinking about it. They might already be engaged. Just oh, engagement up and down. Vertical engagement. That might have changed. Let's say they're not. Um, do you want to move him down that, then? Is it? Is that enough? I don't think so, actually, because he'd have to, because he can't. Over and then down? Yeah. Yeah. For, uh, okay. Wow, I think he might have been engaged this whole time, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because of up and down yeah. engagement. Oh, well. Uh, Falcon will try. You weirdo. All right. That's an odd choice. Can he? 
What did I get? An 11? Yeah. Oh, I can't ignore terrain. I can go up and down and end, like, there-ish in it. Please. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find a spot. Anyway, let's start with the these guys. All right. Uh, so the Mandy Blasters. At the start, Crandus rolls. So is it only models within one inch or a unit within an inch? Uh, it's when the unit is within an inch, you roll one for each. Oh, model. everybody can use their Mandy Blasters. That's think, cool. Let's make sure. Okay. All right. So want to explain that for the class? Yeah. So Karandus is going to roll four dice and on a five or a six, deal a mortal wound because he's got the big, big Mandy Blasters on his big hat. <laughs> and then the Striking Scorpions, the rule is kind of funny. Uh, it's just, if there's an enemy unit within an inch of the Striking Scorpions unit, you roll Mandy Blasters for every model in the Striking Scorpions unit. So even these, though these guys aren't even next to that chaplain, they still get to roll their Mandy Blasters. They're just spit. Um, is it, did they do it on fives or sixes? They're on sixes. Okay. These guys had it on fives. Ah, I see. But they didn't make it in. Okay, so do you want to start with? On fives or sixes? Nothing. Nothing. Kind of how it goes. And then five... Six for the oh, yeah, squad. Okay. Nothing! Grand. You're okay. starting with Karandras then? Yes. Okay. He will get four attacks on twos. Nice. And strength eight. So one on twos. These are AP three. Four up in one. What's that one down there? Ah! How much damage? D3. <gasps> okay, let's see. Damn it! Oof. Snip, snip. Oh, man. I thought he was going to survive that and be a badass. I did, I did too. Oh, man. I kind of wanted him to survive, because then uh, the Karandras' the abilities helped the Scorpion. It would just would have been cooler. It would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, feel free to pile in and consolidate them six inches if you want to do that. And attack with your boat. Ah, they can pile in and consolidate. They can pile in and consolidate, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um, uh, the boat. Yeah, you want to just attack them? Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, shit. Two of them. Uh, two hits. These are strength six, maybe? Sure. What do we have threes? Wow. Falcon, go for it. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> they just got run over. <laughs> Oh. I'm imagining them getting in each impaled on one of these, like, prongs. <laughs> it's so embarrassing! <laughs> I need to buy new dice. I need to buy new dice really bad. If anybody wants to custom make me some indestructible dice that can't roll ones that and twos. That don't have ones on them? That don't have ones on them. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Uh, end of turn this two. End of turn two. Okay, um, sweet. I guess we're gonna do Grey Knights turn three. Come right back. All right, Grey Knights are here. Um, yeah, so... I flew in this spaceship this way. I'm just gonna try to kill as much as I can and take out as many points as possible, because I think I'm down a lot right now. Um, These deep, guys? Yeah, deep strike some uh, Terminators in there. My apothecary's back there as well. I didn't really know what to do with him, because I don't have enough command points to so deep strike him close, and then, uh... Uh, inner oh, fire or something. Oh, yeah, he's, oh, he's in there? Yeah, yeah so he's okay. in there. All right. I am going to move him a bit this way just so he can't be targeted. Uh, but yeah, so, he, but he needs to come down this turn. So, I threw him there. I'll figure out what to do next turn. Um, yeah. You do have any... a lot of Terminate. It feels very desperate, but I haven't had to deal with all of your Terminators yet in there. Yeah. You can gate some over, right? That's the plan. If yeah. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Um, Psychic Phase. I'm gonna gate these dudes. Alright. Gate! We did it. Yep. And we're gonna go over here. Oh, this guy. Um, we're gonna just blast that far as here is the plan. Oh no. Um, these guys right here are going to smite one of them. Okay. Uh, we did it. One mortal wound. Okay. Goodbye, friend. And then the pop is gonna do the same thing. <laughs> he fails. All right, um, those guys. I'm just going to hang out. Um, did I'm they gonna, move? They did. They moved backwards. Oh, interesting. Just so they could be more hidden. I don't want you to I just see. get some free snipes. That's a good point. Um, he is going to blast that uh, 
Fire prism? Yes, fire prism. Yep, they've got a perfect angle on each other. Raise it back! Um, he's gonna get, he's gonna hit on fours because do of Do I wanna do lightning fast? He's already in minus one. Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, um, excellent. I'm gonna go here. Uh, he is going to shoot all of his anti air guns into this thing. Oof. And then he's gonna shoot his assault cannons. How many wounds does he have? Like four, four or five. five. Five, probably. It's a lot to get through. Um, he's going to do all his salt cannons into... And Krandus isn't protected because... Oh, because he's closer. Yeah, because he's closer. Um, I'm going to do my assault cannons into... Krandus has six wounds. God. All right, I'm going to do, the... do the assault cannons into... These striking scorps. No, first... Okay, first, I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth. First, no I'm going to do the uh, these guys, all of their storm bolters into them. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. One, two. Should have dropped them in cover. Three, four. Wanted to get that charge off, though. Yeah, I mean, I think you made the right call there. You're yeah. able to rip apart my chaplain. All right, um, here's all these shots. Okay. Oh, my sad corpse pile. Um, okay. Ooh. Winning on three is because toughness Eldar. Hey, look at those one ones misses. and twos. Ouch. Uh, what's your... Uh... Three up armor. Okay, here you go. All right. Come on, buddies. Three dead? Three dead. Okay. Ouch. Um, in that case, I'm going to do one assault cannon from this into them. Okay. And the other assault cannon into the Banshees. No! Yeah. Um... Okay, yeah. So, first assault cannon into these guys. Try to finish them off. Threes. <laughs> uh, winning on twos. Two it if you won. Fours? Damn it! Yeah. All right. um, and then uh, the other assault cannon to the banshee. Splitting fire always works. <laughs> Threes. Oh no! Oh, Knight of the Brother of Titan has fallen. Oh, rhyme. Uh... <laughs> Strike six to their toughness three, right? <laughs> yeah. Twos. All right, uh, five if you want against the Banshees. Ooh, that's rough. They are only a four up armor, so we need five. So three dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. boy. Okay, and then I'm going to do my uh, Icarus Storm Things uh, cannons to this guy. Too many guns. Um, yeah, Icarus Storm It's like cannon. shooting in four different directions. Well, because I imagine, so he was over here. I imagine he like straight uh, went around yep. this way. Yep, yep. yep. Um, all right, Icarus Storm Cannon hitting on twos. Strike seven against its, I'm assuming, toughness six. Six, yeah. Threes. Uh, three at AP one. All right, fours. All right, two damage for each of those. So Ooh, he's gone. it's gone. I, oh, they do explode, I think. Oh! Do they explode? Let's make sure. All right. Battle Swing scry? the camera around. I'm swinging the camera around. Everyone loves <laughs> looking at laptop screens on cameras. It does explode. It exploded on a six, so how much damage did it do? One mortal wound. To everybody within... Three. Nice. Okay, so... I think it's all... Are, there, are they all down? If that's within three. No way. No, you're right. Yeah, no. So, just these Four pieces. Yeah. Okay. So we're killing, we're killing, we're killing, we're killing. Uh, oh, I should kill that. <laughs> Terminator's over there, you're going to kill your farce here. Oh! One, Is two, this worth a lightning two, fast? They'll have three, 20 shots? Uh, yeah. Head on threes. I think this is worth a lightning fast, so I'm going to spend my last two CP on that. Okay! Sounds good. So we're hitting on fours now. Uh, yeah, translated. And, uh, wounding on threes, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, ouch. Okay, uh, if you could make uh, eight saves, that'd be lovely. All right, four up in bones. Oh, no, that Adios, hurts. Muchacho. That hurts. If I had a CP, I could re-roll one of those and live. Oh. Okay. That was an unfortunate use of CP. Yeah, it sucks. It was the last yeah. two. Yeah. Um, that's all my shooting because my Razorback already shot, right? Yeah, you yep. missed. 
Okay, um, I'm just gonna make a long ass charge for these. Ah, uh, the damage! A long ass charge to Carandris there. See what what do you need? Ten. A ten? Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, because it's an aircraft. You can ignore aircraft. Oh, the, for the, the plane. I thought you had the Terminator. No, the Terminators need a ten. Look. What? Yeah, look at that shit. Oh, that's like right here. Yeah, I know. And so then they're within an inch. Okay. Okay. I mean, you're not going to get a ten, right? <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, yeah. All right, poor Karanis. He, he didn't even notice these guys coming up on him. <laughs> He's just like, oh, we're doing great, boys. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Four for the Justicar, and then three for everybody else. Uh, first, Karanis is going to Mandy Blast them. Oh, he still gets to. Oh, yeah, every fight. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never going to work. Never gonna be a thing. <laughs> um, all right, there's a bunch of swords. Okay. Uh, hitting on threes. Ooh, it's quite a few misses. Um, and strength four is I'm assuming toughness four. Yep. So four is. Oh, because you're nemesis weapon. <laughs> but I am in tide of fury, paying off. Oh, so you reroll ones. Yep. Okay, Ooh. so that's five wounds at AP three. And these are D three each. Yep. <laughs> Grandus does not have an invuln, so he is rolling five? some five up armors. <laughs> oh, he can get one. If you roll all ones, he will survive. <laughs> close. Oh boy, poor guy. We're super rad model with super rad rules. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now I'm trying to think: Do we want to? Do we want to consolidate into those idiots? Do it. It'll give you a free fight right now. And what do you have? Like a claw? Like a pinch claw? Yeah, a bunch of little chain swords with chainsaws on them. And then you're going to fall back. Why would I fall back? Because you want to shoot my guys. Oh, they just have pistols. They want to get into melee. No, I mean, you're going to fall back so that your other guys can shoot. Oh, them. I see. Ah. So I'm like just giving you a free attack is my concern there. I see. Good question. Because you don't want to get shot. I don't. Um, I'm not. But I am going to move a little closer. Mm. But I'm not going to go into you. I'm just going to try to okay. give myself some fancy pantsy cover. All right. That's it. Please make your uh, morale checks. Uh, yeah, they lost four. So their leadership eight. Oof. Yeah, there goes one dude. See if they get runs. Exarch, please don't run. Please don't. Okay. Please don't. Um, and Banshees, do they? We only lost three. They're good. Really? They have a leadership of nine? Eight. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Math. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. One of them is. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that was my entire turn. So, wow. Ugh. All right, it's getting messy in here. It is. I don't think anyone's happy with this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do Elder turn three. Turn oh, man. Three. Yep. All right. All right, you uh, you good to go? Yeah, we're good. So everything's kind of converging on these Terminators. I shifted this tank back a little just to maybe make it so they can't charge it next turn, and just see how much I can kill in shooting because I don't have a psychic phase anymore. Yay! I did that. That was yeah. me. I did yep. that. Yep. Yep. It's true. All right, uh, this Exarch, I don't, can I even see? Yeah, I can see a Terminator. Yeah, shoot a pistol. There we go. Four? Nope. Okay. This Exarch on threes. One hit. Nope. Uh, these folks on threes. Maybe we just take one Terminator with some Shuriken. Hey, right. that was really good. One at AP3 and no AP on the others. Uh, so five. Boo. Boo, hey. you do kill one. Okay. The um, warps actually, let's, let's kill like guy. Oh, are you trying to make my charge harder? I'm trying to make shooting harder. <laughs> oh. If you kill enough of them, then you won't be able to see them. Oh, you're right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So I've got... Oh, we only have 
That's my strategy. You kill enough of me and can't kill more of me. (laughs) Uh, Alright, ten shots from the warp spiders. Made it threes. And where are threes to wound? You said you weren't afraid of warp spiders. One's at AP4. These are at AP nothing? Yep. Twos. Uh, we did it. Okay, cool. One guy takes one wound. All right. It's going to be on this homeboy. Let's toss a hornet into there. Okay. And on threes. All right, AP2. Oh, boy. Oh, All right. And the falcon. Here we go. Falcon is going to... Man, I'm tempted to shoot at this thing, but I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to put the Falcon into the Terminators, everything. So first the Pulse Laser, and wound it on twos. Wound on twos? Strength eight. Oh god, that's right. Yeah. AP two though, right? Yep. So fours. No, AP three. No, we, we checked. It's AP two. That was the Hornet Pulse Laser. This is the Falcon's Pulse Laser. Of course. <laughs> Alright, uh, one goes through. How much damage? Two. Durr! Only one goes through? Yeah. AP3? Oh, right. I'm not in Tide of Shadows. <laughs> uh-huh. And then the Star Cannon. Oh, Falcon's rolling hot. Uh, I'm wounding on three. AP3. <laughs> if we were so close. One Tide of Shadows, he'd be alive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's D3, so he might be alive. He's hey! Alright. Can we take him out with the shuriken cannon? Oh, it's cavalt. It's a maybe. Yes. Wow. Dead. That's. Those are with my dice. Maybe it's, maybe it's my hand. <laughs> maybe you need a new hand. Maybe I just need new. Any viewers out there want to give Stefan a new hand? No, any doctors? <laughs> um, wow. Huh. Okay, sure. All right, the fire prisms are going to go into this puppy with our one single CP. We're Deal. Fire. It'll be 2d3 shots. Significantly less good than last time. It's Six minus one to shots. hit. Oh, yeah, okay, so we're hitting on fours, we're rolling ones and twos. Because old rules, that's right. Woo, look at those threes. Oh, no. That was half my shots. And strength nine, so when down threes, we're re rolling. Don't need it. AP? AP four. How much damage? D3 each. So I have seven up save, but Infernum Halo launcher lets me re roll ones. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, D3 each, you say? Yep. There's some D3s right there if you wish. All right. Wow, these are your D3s. <laughs> there we go. Six damage. Okay, he's down to like four. Okay. I think that's. Was that the first? That was both of your fire prism shooting? Oh, okay. That's all my shooting. Oh! Things are getting a little quicker now. Yeah, there's no charging or anything. Cool! Boy! Okay, I'm gonna check this thing's wounds for sure, and then we'll come back during Grey Knight's turn for movement. What are the Grey Knights thinking? What do the prognosticars say? uh, The prognosticars were like, don't do this, Samandis. This is a bad idea. It's literally just a grudge match, uh-huh. and you're gonna go out and die. Yeah. And he was like, "You don't know my life," and he went. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so I had an airplane here a minute ago. Yeah. Uh, it's true, but it was so damaged, uh, and in such a way, the only places it could move, it had to move minimum twenty inches. Uh, he, I don't, don't, don't think Dustin did this on purpose, but uh, I couldn't go there. It's true. So it was not on the purpose. Table, and now he's gonna be back turn five. Um, the, which I honestly think might be better. You'll be able to get more shots and you won't be able to shoot them off. But, uh, other than that, I did no movement. And I'm going to go straight to my second phase. Nice. So, um, I'm going to teleport them. <sighs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. I have a gentleman down here. Would you mind if I move oh, my, apothecary. my apothecary? Oh, not at all. Great. He's in advance. I'm going to keep that perils. Okay. But my apothecary is going to advance. Excellent. He advances nine. Oh, is he going to beat up some green guys? He is not going to beat up some green guys. Um, going to beat up a warp spider? Uh, 
I accept their perils. Oh, because he advanced. He yeah. Charge. I accept their perils of the warp, and they take two damage. A guy dies. What is he planning? Who knows? Um, so I'm going to teleport them. Um, okay. And These guys? Yeah. You don't want to teleport them? No, I don't. They're all the way over here. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're useless. They're not dying. These guys are just going to get shot out of that crater. Those guys are really safe. Um, I am going to teleport these guys. So they went through the warp, and one of their brothers just didn't come back. That's yeah, what happens. that's unfortunate. Um, I hate it when that happens. We're going we're gonna to just teleport about eight inches forward. We're going to make this charge right there. Hey, where's Dan? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was one more of us here. Uh, we're going to make this charge against that tank at this point. Oh. Um, I'm then going to ca uh, spend a command point with him. Uh, for to extend the range of uh, inner fire, inner fire, um, extend to seven inches, and I think that's close enough. Nope. All right, uh, we're just gonna blow them away. They're more expensive. All right, we're gonna blow away those spiders. Do I get it? I did on an eight, so I get to use eight dice. Wow. All right, here we go. On threes, they take mortal wounds. Uh, so you guys are gonna take five mortal wounds. And then oh, I'm going to take one. Oh, you, got, you got six of them. Oh, that's six. Yeah, you can take six mortal wounds. I just can't count. And then I'm going to take one, but I do have the Kuros of Sacrifice. He does not ignore it. He goes in the four. All right, killed a whole squad of warp spiders with your brain. Yeah, brain. Um, those guys are just going to shoot storm bolters at a tank. Okay. Two. There's only four of them. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Great. Three is... Nothing! Oh! <laughs> oh no. Um, and then I'm gonna do uh, two last cannons from that Razorback into that same tank. Okay, here's where it's at. That Razorback's gonna... This is its day. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that's fine. Alright, um, moving swiftly to the charge phase. Those guys are gonna charge that tank. I got one CP, we're gonna get this sweet, sweet nine. Okay. Oh. Command point. Command point? Yeah. Oh, man. That's it. It's nothing. All right. Oh, man. Grey Knights, turn four done. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. The dust in this movement phase, I think even when my storm hawk comes back, it's hitting on fives. <sighs> I think there's no chance that I'm going to have taken out enough tanks to, like, accumulate my points back. Because I, I think I have about... I have probably just about 600 points on the table right now. On the table? Yeah. Yeah. I think you have more than that. Yeah. I think I'm pretty confident I can kill these four and that guy. It's all it's all kind of coming at me like one at a time. It's yeah. It's really easy for me to focus my fire on things. And... Yeah. This big old, big old mess in the middle has made it difficult for me to get there. Um, mm -hmm. I genuinely don't think there's a way that I could win at this point. Too much! We're calling it. We're calling it. Well done, sir. Thank you. All right, let's uh, chat about it in the wrap-up. In lieu of actually, like, okay. microchips and things. Because it's like, did you ever read Dune? I forget. No, I read you Dune. You should. Um, so it's like the, uh, the because you can't have, like, artificial intelligence or your computers can't be too advanced, mm -hmm. like in Dune, so instead they uh, use, like, human brain tissue like, still living human brains in nice. order to, like, they're called cogitators in order mm -hmm. to, like, make computers and stuff work. And so you just put it in your little gun, you got a little guy in there. Yeah, and then it like probably was a person with, like, wants and desires at some point. Um, Hopefully they wanted to burn things. Oh my god, they love burning heretics. Yeah. Today I'm, build I'm building some Sisters of Battle, and I uh, uh, showed my wife the Armorium cherubs that oh, come with yeah. them, and uh, she was like, what is that? And I was like, uh, it's lobotomized cyborg babies yeah. that the Sisters of Battle use as slaves to carry their stuff around. Yeah. And Alana was like, this ruined my morning. Why did you show me this? Yeah. <laughs> did those models have rules or can you just have them flying around with your ladies? They do. You can like you can like equip them to okay. uh, units and then it like does an extra thing for yeah. them. Cool. Um, yeah, anyway, this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I that was fun. I was it was a nice straightforward match. The, like there was like a 
It's, it's ninth edition is great. Don't get me wrong, but it was nice to just have a match. It's like oh, kill some guys. Yeah, um, yeah. The Can't champion the rule was really cool. Played a game like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I a lot of people have been telling me for a long time to try out that like shooting tactic. Uh, yeah. I think it did work. I think against anything that wasn't like a titan level tank, it might have done a little bit better. Um, yeah, were you hoping to kill it in one I was hoping turn? to kill it straight out. Yeah. Uh, and I think I would have if Samantha's hadn't whiffed his uh, melee so bad. Yeah. Or maybe just even one more unit shooting at it, right? Because it was down to six down to, wounds? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Genuinely, like, if Samantha's, if two of Samantha's melees had gone through, then yeah. it would have gotten it. Um, I liked it. That was surprising. And I saw a look on your face when I did that. It just sort of came out of the gate swinging. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's too much other stuff, though. It wasn't worth the command points. Like, yeah. if I'm being 100% honest, having... It was withering fire, mm -hmm. but it wasn't worth the command points. I was on the back foot the entire game because of that. I didn't have my, uh... I didn't have any of my defensive buffs. I couldn't bring in my apothecary to assassinate somebody turn two. Yeah. Um, it was too expensive. It was just, uh... And it, it was really powerful, so I, maybe it should be expensive. Especially because I was... All the rerolls and stuff that I did. All the various things that I did. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Thoughts. So what did you spend all the CP on? It was... Uh, I spent a CP... Uh, yeah. First of all, uh, I spent the... Yeah. So Bring Down the Beast. Um, and then I did... Uh, psychic Amplification or whatever the specific mm -hmm. Psy Weapon one is. On that's that. two? That's two command points. So that's three so far. Okay. And then I did Psy Bolt Ammunition to make the Storm mm -hmm. Bolters. Psy Weapons with additional Strength and additional AP. And that's and also I, two? Yeah, that's also two. Ooh. And then I spent another CP to make it so that my... Because they're, uh, they're uh, power armor guys, they can't rapid fire at full range. And I knew I needed all the shots. Uh, so I uh, spent a CP for Fight on the Move that let them mm -hmm. shoot at full range. Um, also, I realized that I had been getting my chaplain's litany wrong. Recitation of Protection is uh, the name of a different one that extends the range by six inches. Oh. So it was, it was doing the right spell, I just forgot the name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that cost me six CP straight up, and then yeah. I was spending, I spent one or two in the psychic phase. Um, oh yeah, and I spent the, I spent one for Avengers of the Machine, Machine Spirit to kill that uh, squad of uh, <laughs> Dire Avengers. Was that worth it? <laughs> Uh, that's, that's 55 point squad uh, <laughs> it's tough to say because yeah. they were them being dead meant there was less firepower coming at my uh, purifiers yeah. which might have let them live longer yeah. um, and also it let you spread out less so I was able to like deep strike more guys in the back yeah. there Yeah, it's tough to say um, it can't just come down to like how many points a unit costs. Yeah. I don't think. Although in this that's game, true. it literally came down to how many points a unit costs because that's how we measured success. Yeah, but I see what you're saying. Like, yeah, those Dire Avengers could do some damage. They could have killed Samandis a little bit earlier, or something like that. Oh man, poor Samandis. If I had this taught me this, this was a good lesson in why I always do Tide of Shadows. Yeah. Um. Tide of Convergence, Tide of, Tide of, Tide of, honestly, Tide of Convergence was great that first turn, and then if I had switched immediately to yeah. uh, uh, Tide of Shadows after that, I think it would have been solid. Uh, I don't know why I switched to Tide of Fury. That was dumb. Was was dumb. <laughs> I wanted to, I, yeah, I just thought I was, I was like, I, visually, I was like, I'm in it, I'm going to be yeah. up here, chopping and slicing, so I'm going to want to reroll once. It's just so bad. Yeah. I... I think another thing that helped me out a lot was it. I it felt like I was playing a like a game from like eighth edition or like early eighth edition when everyone wasn't forced to pile onto points all the time, um, and and you just kind of came to me, but yeah. you were so slow. It was like I got this slow trickle of gray knights um, that all just came into my tanks firing lines, and it's... that really helped me out. It's really tricky because we just don't have long range firepower. Yeah. My Razorback, which whiffed the whole game! Uh, my Razorback yeah. just is really the only thing that I could do beyond 24 inches. So I have to engage you. Yep. And then with the power armor guys, they get twice the shots in half range, so I wanted to have them even closer. Yeah. Yeah, I think this it, it favored me in that I could just stay there and kind of assign all my shots how I wanted to, and you had to slog your mm -hmm. way over. I wonder what would have happened if you had just stayed hidden. Because that's the funny thing about this mission, right? Like, 
Yeah. If you had stayed hidden, I couldn't get points either, and maybe I would have had to come to you. So my worry there was you were just going to kind of... Yeah, I do have the long range stuff. Yeah, you. my worry there was I wouldn't have moved. I would have tried to hide, and you would have found the precise... You would have spent like 20 <laughs> minutes finding the precise little angles, and then you would have had like the perfect little shooting perches from like 72 inches away, <laughs> yeah. where you just delete my whole army. Yeah, I probably could have sat on top of that mountain. and. Yeah, yeah. so I figured I wanted to... I figured... I thought turn one, getting the interceptors up there and getting the land right up there, I mm -hmm. thought that would put enough heat on you that it would make it you kind of fall apart back there. But um, honestly, I think the land rider dying turn one helped me more than it hurt me. Yeah, like that was amazing. Getting all the guys out and doing their thing. If I had popped it during my turn, I could have killed the purifiers. Could finish them off, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was interesting. What do you think of your big old screwy tank? I would have liked to have used it more than... For just your turn, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, it was cool. It, I didn't feel like when I brought it, I was like, okay, this is going to be a throwaway game because I'm spending three CP and it's so expensive. And what's wor wh what's it going to shoot at that it will make those points back up? Oh, I just and but you know, it's it's not t too bad. No, he just obliterated my land raider, yeah. and then he soaked up my entire army shooting. Yeah. Yeah, and the in last edition, it's it was so unreliable because its shots were d6 and its damage was two d6. Ugh. So you'd sometimes find yourself rolling like a one for shots, and then you're like, "Well, I spent," and it was a lot more points too. So you, I spent five hundred fifty points to shoot one shot that misses <laughs> or get soaked up by an invuln, and I feel like it's in a kind of a nicer spot now. Like, I feel a, less, a little less envious of Scorpion owners now. Because <laughs> the Scorpion was the hot, super heavy Eldar tank. Last that edition. big tank envy. Yeah, yeah. big tank envy. For sure. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Um, oh, there were some good moments there where I was like, got him. And there were other moments where I was just like, oh, why? Why is this happening? You yeah. guys missed our entire, like... Mm -hmm. Like his turn two, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where uh, no, your turn one, where my purifiers were just dropping like flies because I was rolling oh, ones yeah. and twos for all the saves. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. There was a moment where I, when you killed the cobra and Samandis was there, the purifiers were there, everything was still waiting in deep strike, and I thought that you were just gonna start rolling over all my tanks, but mm. I, I think I got a really good turn of shooting and Carandrus and the striking scorpions. Making those charges helped out a lot too. The fact that I had no command points to spend on defensive stratagems yeah. uh, or deep striking close. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was just excited to use all that shooting stuff, see how that worked. It was yeah. cool, but yeah. Ugh. yeah, if that was a knight, that would have been dead turn one. Yeah. It was a big old giant tank. Yep. Gross. It's really cool. All right, any other thoughts? I don't think so. Red. That was fun. Thanks for was playing yeah, with me. Thanks yeah. for playing. Um, are you going to be you gonna bring Eldar to the Crusade, do you think, or are you going to start a new army? I just I don't see myself legitimately buying and building and painting a whole new army. But I am excited to paint up some new, thing, new Eldar things. Like, I am thinking about uh, taking one of the really old, derpy Wraith Lords. <laughs> That's right, yeah. With the giant hands, and it's like a little hunched guy, and turning that into a Wraith Seer, maybe. Ooh, that'd be fun. Um, and, yeah, stuff like that that I'm excited for. And I want to play with just, like, kind of like today, like, it was so fun to just run Karandris and run the Cobra, and not worry too much about building a cool list. Mm -hmm. I think that... The Crusade will be a lot like that, and it'll be really fun. Yeah, and that is a big advantage of, don't get me wrong, I like competitive 40k, but I do like playing more narrative or sort of open-ended games mm -hmm. where we can just be like, I really like tanks, so I'm bringing a lot of tanks. Yeah. Yeah, because I guarantee no Eldar players looking at your list and being like, what a great list! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching again, guys. Um, as of this thing, I think... This is the last week where I have my little contest. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll link the video in one of those little spots. Um, if you want me to paint a Space Marine Captain for you, go and guess how uh, many points of Grey Knights I have. Um, as always, blah, 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 like, subscribe, comments really help. Um, yeah, thank you so much, everyone. See you next week.